here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 Snork Maiden is running as if the Groke is chasing her. I don't think I've ever seen her run so fast. I wonder what's the matter. Perhaps something terrible has happened. Sure? He says nothing will prevent him doing it. Oh, please, you must stop him, Moomin. Did you say that you wanted me to help you with something, Snork Maiden? Yes, I want you to stop Snork jumping off the south side of the cliff. Oh, dear, I never thought he was the type. He says it's a test flight. Ah. Oh. A what? A test flight, did you say? Snork Maiden, do you mean that he's finally finished building his flying ship? No, only the blueprint. At least I think that's all. He doesn't tell me. Well, that's a start. He built a small model of the flying ship's wings, and they don't look strong enough to carry anyone. And now he's going to try them out himself to see if they'll work. And I know they won't. They'll break, and I'll... Now, wait a minute, Snork Maiden. Slow down and let me think. He's made the wings from the blueprint of the flying ship. Well, his plans are always very accurate. Oh, Papa, you've got to stop him. The south side, Papa. Yes, I know, the highest and steepest one of all. Oh, Moom and Papa, there must be something we can do. Yes, I'm sure there is. Right, hurry, everybody, there's no time to lose. Come on. Oh, thank you, Moom and Papa. No. Snork, don't do it! Why have you brought everybody here, Snork Maiden? They've come to beg you not to do it. You're too young and brilliant for such a tragic again. Thank the booble we were in time. As a matter of fact, you weren't. Oh, really? It looks very dangerous to me, Snork. Well, it's not at all, Moomin Papa. I made these wings myself. They're perfectly balanced. Well, yes, I'm sure they are, but... Uh... The blueprints are detailed and precise. They're quite safe. Tell me, Snork, why did you stop on the edge like that after running down the slope? Oh, I was measuring the right length for my approach run. Don't do it, Snork. I don't want to lose my only brother. Don't make such a fuss, Snork Maiden. Do you really think it's safe? 
Of course it is. You don't see birds falling out of the sky, do you? Well, at least do your test flight just above the ground, so that if something happens to go wrong, you won't hurt yourself. I've already done that from the roof of our house, and it worked beautifully. Did you see him? No, I didn't see anything. Of course you didn't. Do you think I let a wimpy little sister watch me? What's that supposed to mean, Snork? Just that I don't want you sticking your big nose into my affairs all the time. I don't like it, and it's nothing to do with you. Yours is just as big, and I don't want to lose don't you. Don't go on about losing me. Why not? Come on now, you two. Stop. Hey! Careful! Oh, oops, that was close. Snork Maiden, I don't think your brother's going to be stopped. Oh, dear, oh, dear. You're very brave, Snork. Hmm, right. Here we go. This time it'll be a perfect takeoff. It's a long way. Oh, look, isn't that Snufkin down there? Where? Where is he? Where's Snufkin? You can't see him from there, Sniff. You'll have to come here. Is it really Snufkin? Yes, I'm sure it is. Snufkin! Yeah! Did he hear you? No, I don't think so. All right, here goes. Good luck, Snork. <sighs> the snork. Look at him flying! It's all right, snork maiden. Your brother's doing fine. Come and see. To be honest. Huh? Yeah, Snark! Hello! Hooray! Well done! Isn't it? Hooray! Hooray! Splendid! This test flight is a great success! Interesting. <laughs> that was mean, Stinky. If I could get him to wave with both arms, he'd probably fall. Look, we don't want you here, Stinky. Why don't you just go away? Mm, I can find lots to do with that machine. If you won't go away, I will. Well, go on then, Snufkin. What do I care what you do? Hmm, that would be perfect for robberies. The wind seems to be taking him out to sea. Why doesn't he turn around and come back? Turning in that thing might not be so easy. What? Do you mean he can't? Well, don't worry, Snork Maiden. Of course he can. <laughs> oh, what's this? I can't turn! Oh! 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 oh, he's hit a tree. Come on, hurry! Is he dead? No, he's been knocked out. He looks dead to me anyway. Where are they? What's happened to the wings? In the tree. 
Ah, he won't want them anymore, so now I can have them. Now, let me see. So, did the test flight go all right? Will someone tell me what happened? Well, it was fine until the very end. I'm sure that you only need a bit more practice. Flying isn't the easiest thing to master, you know. I expect so. Let's hope you don't run out of bandages, though. Excuse me, Snork. Hmm? Uh, are you going to use the wings anymore? I might not. Why? Oh! Well, I'll have them, if you don't want them. I, I want to fly in the sky, too. It looks the most exciting thing I've ever seen. Oh, please let me have them. Well, it's not as simple as that, Moomin. They need testing before the design is complete. But I could do that, Snork. I know I could do it. Please let me have them. Well, I suppose I could do with some help. There's a lot to do, fetching and carrying, mostly. You haven't said if I can have the wings or not yet, Snork. Yes, you can, but on one condition. Anything. Well, now the blueprints are finished and the wings are more or less right, I'll need somewhere to build the ship and somewhere to store all the materials so they'll be dry and at hand. Yes, you will, Snork. I can see that. It doesn't have to be much. Just a roof will do. Oh, and walls. So that people can't spy on me and steal my ideas. I can do the building myself, but I'll need some help, and when it's finished, you can have the wings. Great! I'd love to help you. I'd have done that anyway, but now that I can have the wings, I'll work twice as hard. You won't regret it, Snork. I promise you, you won't. Splendid, Moomin. That's settled, then. Perhaps we can get more help. I'm sure that'd be easy. How about it, Snuffkin? Yes, of course. Will you help us, too, Sniff? Yes, but I want something, too. I'll let you borrow the wings. No, I'm far too heavy. I'd only break them. Don't worry, Sniff. I'm sure I'll think of something you can have. Oh, as long as it's something nice. Oh, I do love helping people. You're all heart, Sniff. We know that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'll need some expert help with the shed, Snork. <laughs> Surely this must be deep enough, Papa. Oh, no. We moments always build for posterity. Besides, I like pouring cement. <laughs> okay, Papa. I've given your present a lot of thought, you know. Huh? And I think I'll give you one of my invaluable books on machinery. Oh. Don't you want it? Well, if there was something else, I'm not much of a reader. What about my invaluable fountain pen? Invaluable fountain pen? What about my invaluable... Uh... Do you have anything that's not invaluable, Snort? Well, what about a gold coin? Wow, wow, that sounds great. A real gold coin? Oh boy, yes, that's a deal. Oh, you're digging a very deep hole. Oh. Why don't you stop and have some sandwiches? Shall we do that, Papa? Go on. Yes, I think we can stop now. Sniff and your brother are in the woods. Yes, I know. I heard them. Hi, Snork Maiden. Oh, no. Wait a minute, I want to ask you something. What is it? Tell me, Snork Maiden, is it true that your brother gave those wings to Moomin? Yes, it is. He's helping Snork to build the shed as payment. I thought they'd be broken up. They hit that tree very hard. Well, my brother's repairing them. 
Will you let me pass? I've got to take his lunch to him. And will he be able to repair them? He can repair anything. Mm. Gosh, what a lot of wood you've got. Well, the shed has to be a lot bigger than my flying ship. Moomin and Moomin Papa are digging holes. They sure are deep. Everybody's being very kind. Very kind indeed. Mama's cooking, and Snufkin's gone to get nails. There are some other things I need him to get as well. Will you write them down? Of course I will, Snork. Oh, you're such a planner. Well, I'm afraid all famous inventors have to be. <sighs> Whether it was Snork's planning or the fact that everyone in Moomin Valley helped in some way or other, the hangar or boathouse was finished in record time. Thank you for all your help. You did so much that these wings are hardly payment enough. But if you're happy with them... Oh, no. It was great fun building the shed. I <laughs> changed the design a bit so it's easier to take off and land. And turning shouldn't be a problem anymore. You must remember to give yourself plenty of time, though, Moomin. Thank you, Snork. I can't wait to try them out. I'm so excited, I don't think I'll sleep tonight. Are you trying them out tomorrow? As soon as I can. You will be careful. You must practice a lot just above the ground to get used to wearing them before you try to go too high. I don't want anything to happen to you. I'll practice, I promise. Where are you going to practice tomorrow? I haven't decided. I'll find somewhere when I come out tomorrow. Perhaps on that small hill near the cliff. Well, that can't be too dangerous. I'll see you there. Where have you put the wings? On the table outside. You must have gone past them if you came in through the veranda door. No, I didn't. They're not there. What? Oh, no, you're right. They're gone. Oh, dear, I thought as What's much. What's happened to them? Somebody's stolen them. What's the matter with you two? Is something wrong? Yes, somebody's stolen Moomin's wings. Well, perhaps they haven't been stolen. Of course they have, and I bet I know who did it, too. Come on! Where are we going? Do you know where they are? <laughs> it's stinky! Oh, you! Well, it certainly didn't take you long. Just a minute, Stinky. Those are my wings. See? I knew it was him. <laughs> Stop, you horrible creature! I certainly will not! If you give them back, Stinky, 
I'll let you try them out later. I promise. No way, Moomin. They're mine now. I'm going to be a high flyer. Look out, Moomin! Side, Mo Man. Yeah, but who'd think that he'd steal them? We're his friends. Well, almost. I didn't think even Stinky would do something like that. Well, he did, didn't he? Now, don't worry, Moomin. We'll find him and get them back. I know it. Look, Moomin. Now he's going towards the sea. But Stinky didn't know how to maneuver the wings and was taken further and further uh, out. Uh, 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 uh. Turn around when you turn back! Uh. Until... Uh. At least he's having a bath for once. The wings will be badly damaged. Never mind. Snork will build another pair. I sure hope so. They love the laughter and they love the living, the moments. Believing and sharing and caring and giving, the moments. They're always happy and always at play. The moments are having fun day after day, the moments. The laughter and they love the living, the moments. Believing and sharing and caring and giving, the moments. They're always happy and always at play. The moments are having fun day after day, the moons.